Good morning, Jesse Clark Eagles. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Good morning. Today is Monday, September 10th. Today's weather is gonna be 71 degrees, cool and cloudy today. It's starting to feel like fall out there. Autumnal is your word of the day. It's starting to feel autumnal outside. For lunch today, you have your choice of a hot dog, General Sal's chicken, peanut butter and jelly sandwich, or a salad. All right, I've got some results from the cross country event on Saturday. Brrr. Congratulations to the JCMS cross country team. On Saturday, both bo bleh, sorry, both boys and girls finished seventh place overall. The top seven finishers for girls included Nala Mott, Mallory Kersey, Mara Witt, Krista Holmberg, Cameron Lynn, Kaki Jones, and Elena Gray. Way to go, ladies! And then the top seven finishers for the boys included Josh Smith, Logan Washburn, Bryant Carpenter, Adam Cahall, Sammy DeBillazan, Paul Wilson, and Ben Ingram. Great job, Cross Country Eagles. Don't forget, you have practice after school today. All right, we have volleyball tonight here at home. Come and watch our volleyball players uh, compete against Crawford tonight here at Jesse Clark. All right, the decision has finally been made. The hires for the Jesse Clark Middle School news team are done. I'm going to show them here quickly, um, but if you don't get a chance to check the list carefully, they will also be hung on our bulletin board on the back of the library in the cross hall. We will have our first meeting, Jesse Clark news team, next Tuesday morning at 745. You need to be at the front door at 7.45 next Tuesday, so we can have our first meeting as the Jesse Clark News Team. So congratulations to those folks, and here are the lists. All right, congratulations to those folks, and I'll see you next Tuesday morning where we're gonna start getting this news channel in order. All right, a couple more announcements. These are from FFA. Don't forget that FFA will be volunteering at the Henry Clay Estate for their Living History event during the day on Friday, September 21st. That's next Friday. You must be an FFA member to go on this trip. FFA members attending will help create and present a historical agriculture exhibit. See Miss Earlywine in room 602, that's out in the portables, for permission slip to attend this field trip. Also, don't forget if you are an FFA member, you have received an email to join the FFA Google Classroom, so please make sure that you check your email so you can get all the information you need through the FFA Google Classroom. All right, a couple of announcements from our PTSA. The Jesse Clark Middle School store is open. We will be open every Wednesday in the mornings before school and in the afternoons directly after school. We are selling all kinds of stuff, so come and check us out. We are in the cross hallway between the two main hallways. So the cross hallway, um, I'm guessing down by Miss Rogers' office, by the pink office. Just look for the signs, there will be signs up. Remember you can turn in 50 box tops for $2 in store credit, 100 box tops for $4 in store credit, 150 box tops for $6 in store credit. So you could really just use box tops and buy all your stuff with those. Turn them into the store clerks directly if you want the credit. We will only have candy for sale in the afternoon, 
but in the water bottles will be for sale in the mornings. And we have cool earbuds right now. Come and check us out. If you're a bus rider, please try and visit in the morning instead of in the afternoon. They can hold your candy for you in the afternoon and you can just pick it up on your way out and go ahead and make those purchases in the morning so you don't miss your bus. Being at the Jesse Clark Middle School store is not permission to miss your bus. It is your responsibility to be out there on time. The color run, by now everyone should have gotten a full piece of colored paper, a half sheet of paper, and an envelope all stapled together. This is your color run packet. Please take it home and share it with your parents. The run is September 21st. You need a donation of $25 to participate in the color war. So if you don't raise at least $25, you won't get to go out and play in the color war with us. Um, it is a lot of fun, by the way. Donations over $25 will help you get additional prizes. The first student to return their packet with the $25 in it will get two ride attractions to Malibu Jacks and a Cane's meal certificate. The first 75 students to return their packets will get a Malibu Jacks ride ticket. And the first five students to go over $50 get Malibu Jacks attraction tickets and over $100. Um, those people who raise over $100 get four attraction tickets and Cane's meal certificates. Teachers, the PTSA will be about to collect your envelopes this week and next. So students, as soon as you get that $25, if that's all you're planning on raising, get that packet turned in or try to raise as much as you can because there's also prizes for raising more than $25. So decide what your goal is and go for it. Um, PTSA would like to thank everyone who participated in our first Spirit Night at Culver's. We will have another one in November. And don't forget, if you're interested in our Spirit Wear, you can still order this year's shirts. Forms are located in the office and in the library. All right, students, if you'll please stand for a dress code check. Remember, teachers, if you have any dress code issues, we handle those with a negative tap in EOS. All right, students, that's it for today. We ask here at Jesse Clark that you value self, value others, value learning, every person, every day. Have a great Monday, Jesse Clark.